Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you're truly Lord Zinjo the Mad, what do we have here? How do I? How do I? What do I do with this? How do I? There's like empty slots here. It's, it seems like these empty slots are meant to be used for something. Just mark all a scene for now. I have no idea what we're actually supposed to be looking at. There's a pistol mod here. Can I just equip it? No, I can destroy it. I have shotgun mods. I also have no idea how to equip these. But there is a shotgun and there's em empty mod slots. But I don't know how these work. What is this? This is the journal. Codex. Skills. Yeah, they still have one point left each. That's fine. I will look into them later. I think Liam is meant to be a soldier mostly, while Gore is meant to be an adept mostly? Or at least adept at being an adept. <laughs> that is not a good pun! Hey, hell, it hardly counts as a pun. Okay, let's go back to operations. And get that security footage and eye over. Yeah. Security footage one network access instability detected, timestamp scrambled, playback corrupted. To Tyron Candras, uh, as you're aware, there was a mutiny about the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armor. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalogue and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising, supply stolen equipment, probe and things of that nature, but I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know what we are working with if we are going to survive. Director Tan. Regarding damage control. To Charon Tan, director of the Andromeda Initiative from Tyron Candras, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Saint Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the exiles were more Calyx's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Calyx Corvanis may have started, but Sloan made her allegiance clean. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. So okay, it's not who I thought she was, there won't be a problem. Good, then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get a colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Forwarding, forwarding report from Recon Team 232. Trail Skulls found what will, looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeffer system, but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Activate this. This file is useless. Let's check another. Okay. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Candros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Uh... Ah, oh, yes, I see there can be people... We assigned. We know it is neither nebula nor its food. What is its nature? It's right with dark energy. Oh, it's security people that we are supposed to look at. Gotcha. This person is not a match. Excellent. Don't mind me. Biometrics do not match. Okay, so they are now on the on the Hyperion. Running back and forth, that's what we do. Okay, we have the options to go into habitation deck. Or 
Briar Bay or Docking Bay. So there's more than a couple of possibilities here. Are you to be scanned? Biometrics do not match. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale oh, Atkins, hi. right? I could have waited. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. And you're just gonna walk away. That's fine. Oh, Andromeda viability points. Just from spending a little bit of time here. Cool. Let's go look at the cryo bay. Because I want to see how Sarah's doing. Though Sam did say that there had been no changes, I still want to see for myself. Cryo Bay. And then we'll head to the Docking Bay and we will eventually get out of this Nexus thing. And supposedly we had to maximize out our car, like completely upgrade it. That's what I was told in a tweet when I first started this series. I don't know if that's actually solid advice or not, but that's that's the advice I've been given. Hi, Nigel. I'll make it right, Pathfinder. I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Thank you. How are you, Fisher? Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the Ket. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I keep I'm holding my mouse. I, save him. I like... haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. I've met one Pathfinder. Well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah. Sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. How is my sister? How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment. Just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. Excellent. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha! Right, look who I'm talking to. 
Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. Thank you. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. Thank you for your time. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Spent so long customizing you, you better wake up. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father, Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah. It just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. And that, that was quite nasty. Hello? Hello. Ryder. Ace? Ace? How's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Alright. So off to the dock. Ink. Station. Yes. I can't, I can't jump while I don't have my suit on. Gotcha. It's, I went to the habitation deck because I didn't look at what I was supposed to be looking at. Which uh, which was the docking station because this actually like this this is we, we already went over this and this I made sense of it to myself. You weren't here. Yeah? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Are you saying I can finally paint my armor? Or change my clothes? They call her the Tempest. It does look pretty, I'll give it that. Who am I kidding? She looks gorgeous. Where can I get one? Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's wrong? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right?
came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Madison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. You have been giving pretty low expectations, haven't you? Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Can I go change my outfit now? At least I mean pink my armor. So I don't want to go Better running around the in ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. What do we have? Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Okay. What do we have on research? But we currently have no data. What do we have here? Helios research data. Okay. And the final is not available. Development. What do we have here? Lots of weapons. Any shotguns I can make? Disciple, Katana, Pathfinder, Deep Impact. But there is... There is no spike gun. There is no spike gun at all. Okay, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there right now. So I'm just not gonna do it. I still also don't know how to use this. What can I do with Romeo? I have absolutely no idea what this is. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's this loot boxes. Okay. You guys have fun. I have no idea how it works. Hey. If it works. So I'm just going to casually That's just walk away from all of this right now. Keep any safe. 
Excellent. Now where did you say my bedroom was? Hi. I'm almost out there. Hello. Finally. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Excellent. Ooh. That's a beauty. Hi, Gil. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. Excellent, excellent. I assume this is not my chambers. <laughs> no, probably not. But I'm curious as to where my chambers are. It's promised chambers. Hi, Vetra. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Excellent. Now this is the exit, I suppose. Cor. Rider. Finalizing orders. Flight plan. Command access. Ready when you are. Good to know. There's a ladder here. There's also stairs. So is this most of the crew bunks in here? Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyone want to help me move a couch? Not right now, but I'll keep you on my list, especially if you're periodic and can drop the weight to pay you back in beer or whatever else you find. Are you serious? I never joke about comfortable seating. Congratulations, Buffer and Ryan, on successful in successful infrastructure of infraboard. Version 3.4. You're now ready to keep yourself and your staff informed on the latest development support, the Tempest. Cool. Now, where is my room? Hi, Lexi. Hello, How you doing? Ryder. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come by after launch, and we can catch up properly. Ah, so they're just telling me. These are the Pathfinder's Ooh. quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Ooh. Yes. We finally found what we, what we need. Alright. We are customized. I look awful. It's exactly how I would have wanted it. Wait. Actually, I don't know if I wanted to wear a jacket. There we go. Long sleeves is fine. Special delivery cash. Oh. That's a lot of stuff. We found more stuff. Okay. I think I think we just un unlocked more stuff. And yeah, that's fine. I don't know why this is an option, but I'll take it. Sleeves are bullshit. Uh to Ryder from Herrick, Pathfinder. It was marvelous to meet you. As a fellow adventurer in, in the sciences, could you help us with an experiment? We have interest. We have an interesting chap here on the Nexus, a young Payak, uh, but humans sometimes call a space monkey. It's part of a study on how various species adapt to shipboard life, and we're hoping you might take him aboard the Tempest. You can pick him up from the Nexus Commons whenever you like. Don't worry, he's quite friendly, and his routine's very simple. No food after 23:59, no baths or showers, and please limit his exposure. To solar radiation, yes. Hello, Pathfinder. I'm a freelance weed maker and I could really use your help with my latest project. I'm going to be Storic, I hope, just like your mission. It's going to be. Can we meet in the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Carry to Vesa. Monkeys in space, yes. I need monkeys in space. Alright. Oh, this one's locked. No, it's not locked. It just didn't want to open immediately. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, use the ladder. I'm to actually activate it. Was a bit unexpected for me.
Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Not keep yourself still. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. No. Nah. No time for speeches. Let's see what we can find. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. So this means I did not go to pick up the space monkeys. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. That's not ideal. Helios, then. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. B, how do we go back to the Milky Way so we can have another nap? Pfeiffer, Ericsson. Can I just. Anomaly on sensors. Oh? What is this anomaly so close to home? Oh, we're sending in a probe. Alright. Okay, so there's a, there are plans for... Uh, for stuff. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Progression 16%. What does that mean? Anomaly on sensors. Is this the... Oh, that's the anomaly. So this appears to be a primary source broken up by space-time distortions in the scourge. Alright, let's scan it. I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work.
Okay, thanks for time, I guess. Alright. Oh, wow. They're just right here, aren't they? That's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will actually go ahead and do the thing. Go to Eos, I mean. But maybe I should pick up the Space Monkeys first. We'll see. I'll see you next time.